on. We got a 4412 polycarbonate. You can see the threads are going out of this. There's already stainless steel helicor here, stainless steel helicor here. And this one's almost pulled out. If you can see, it's already started to separate around there. So, what the plan is, we're gonna drill both of these out. We're gonna try to drill down deep enough that we bust into the galley back here so it sucks more air in when, uh, when you're running it. Um, so That's always an advantage yeah, on a circle no, track we, carburetor. Actually, we're gonna be very careful with this thing. Right. You're also gonna wanna to make sure you put plenty of grease in the holes once you're done drilling. So we're gonna... Yeah, so how do you drill out the one that's already got a helical in it? You don't. bottom okay we're gonna see if we get some of these chips out make sure when you get ready to start blowing your holes out that you do a good fair amount of safety squinting yeah that absolutely got to do the safety squinting so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna continue to until the drill bit comes out the other side anyway Carburetor messed up. <laughs> okay, I think we're deep enough. Mm hmm. Safety screen. Okay. We could go a little deeper, but I'm not going to. <clears throat> now, this here is thread repair kit, but we call it a a helicoil. There's nothing in it. Yeah, that's because I've already took the stuff out of it. Oh. Uh, step one, drill size 1564s, as we've already done. Um, we drilled a hole out. Step two, you tap it with this special helicoil tap. This is not a regular thread tap. This is a helicoil tap. And after you thread the hole, you take this little spring steel unit here, screw it down in there, and it looks like one of those threads to be in there. Cool. Um, that's all there is to it. Piece of cake. Yep. Is that the right then, size for then, the, the boat? Then you using? break the um. Absolutely. I've done it before. I'm the just, um. I'm just curious. If you notice this little clip here, can you see that on your, on your camera? That little clip right there. Mm -hmm. That little dent. After you screw it in there, you're supposed to stick that and break that off, and then you blow that little piece out. Um. So anyhow. Here we go. We're gonna start by making sure she's straight. you want it to do what makes a helicoil so much stronger than the regular old threads these are aluminum and the, it wears out the, the helicoil is like spring steel okay or stainless steel it's a lot tougher I always thought a helicoil was like a worst case scenario type fix or something, but... No, it's actually starting. stronger. Yeah. Alright, we're going to put this here. A little bit of thread locker on here. I think the thread locker's frozen. It probably is. It's not. Everything else is frozen. It's not mandatory, but. I think motor oil is frozen this morning. I do enjoy putting a little bit on there. 
And then once you got the little, you got to have the special tool to throw it in there. We're going to get her started. And she normally turns right down in there. That is the coolest thing I've seen this weekend. Always make sure you go down below the surface. I always like to go about one thread. How do you break the little piece out of the bottom? See how that is? Nice, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Yep, that's all it is. Let's see if we can get this thing broke off. Is it the light on? Turn the light on, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That helped me out, too. How about that? We're going. There she went. That was easy. I thought it was going to be harder. No, than that. no. It's, it's like spring steel, so it, it, it just came out. I was going to blow it out. Oh, no. Something came out. There with. she is right there. There's the token. Of the helicoil. That's pretty cool. See that? That's why I love you. All right, y'all. That's it for the helicoil video. <laughs>